So one of our objectives for environmental emergencies for EMTs is to be able to identify poisonous uh, plants, primarily poison ivy, poison sumac, and poison oak. And they all can be remembered as a leave of three, let me be, or leave me be. Um, so anytime we have three leaves, we have to worry about it a little bit. So this was a picture that was taken um, not far from where I live. And it, here's two vines that oftentimes grow together, and I wanted to... Uh, point out the differences. So most people will look at this one right here because this is actually quite common but if you see you have one, two, three, four, five leaves and that's actually Virginia creeper. Now Virginia creeper is oftentimes found with a plant that looks like this and if you count that you have one, two, three leaves and that is your uh, poison ivy. So there's the poison ivy and there's the Virginia creeper. Now here's another uh, picture of some poison ivy, poison oak uh, found near my house. Um, so whenever I find this by my house, I do my best to kill it. Um, I'm pretty allergic to it. So um, this stuff always seems to creep up, but just a slightly different coloration. Now in the fall, this will turn bright red. Um, it's actually a very pretty vine growing up trees, um, but don't touch it because uh, the oils can still, can still call you to, cause you to have a, have a rash. So these plants have a, a type of oil on them that seems to react only with human skin. Um, other animals aren't affected by it, but this oil binds with the cells of your skin and causes a terrible rash. And the only way really to get rid of it then is to slough it off. Now this oil can be spread from spot to spot. So if you get some on a leg and then you touch the leg and then you touch your arm, it'll go to your arm. If you have some on your clothing, you touch your clothing, you touch another part of your body, it'll spread to that. So some people say that they get it in their bloodstream and it comes up all over, and they don't really get it in their bloodstream. Uh, it's just that they have been touched with this oil in multiple spots. And there's all sorts of ways and uh, kind of home remedies on how to get rid of this between uh, dousing yourself with bleach and dousing yourself with vinegar and washing with this and washing with that. But medically accepted, the only real way to try to get rid of these oils is to wash yourself with warm soap and water. Now, if you do get exposed, you wash it off quickly, you may not have much of a reaction, but if you don't notice it for a while, you may have something like this that will pop up. And you see that there's a lot of these little blisters that will, will come up with poison oak, poison ivy, poison sumac exposure. And this may also have a little cellulitis with it because I waited a couple of days before I really started uh, noticing it and taking care of it. But this usually develops about a day or so after exposure and it is incredibly itchy incredibly itchy and it's um, really hard to not scratch at it. Of course you scratch at it and then you end up with open wounds like this and that can then get infected. So generally not a 911 call for us but if we pick up somebody that was exposed to poison ivy tell them to wash it with soap and water, remove any clothing and any um, jewelry that may be constricting in it, um, just realize it's going to start itching. Don't pop the blisters. You can put Benadryl creams on it, hydrogen cortisone creams on it to help minimize some of the itching. And if it gets bad enough, like it did with my leg here, um, you may need some antibiotics. And I ended up, when I went to the doctor, I got some antibiotics, but he also gave me some steroid shots and that knocks it out pretty quickly. Um, so again, not much we can do pre-hospitally for it. If you have a wound like this, cover it up with some, some clean uh, dressings, wrap it, and then take them to the hospital and they'll get some antibiotics and probably some steroids with it. So, so that is a little bit about poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, and how we treat it.